welcome back. I'm Ruby Cox and I'm just going to do a little chat with you today. Now, what I will say is, like, obviously everything I say in my videos and my little vlogs is my opinion. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a specialist, never done psychology, don't know what I'm doing, just going through the course and sharing my progress with you. Um, and the one thing I will say that I am learning this week is we're still on challenging because challenging is a big part of it. We're on part three, I think, coming up. And the thing that I need to keep telling myself to remember is that it is challenging. That's what it's called. It's challenging for a reason because it is challenging. And I need to take an easier approach on myself when I don't get it right. And... and you know, just see, salvage, if you get a situation wrong, this is the way I'm looking at it anyway, if I get a situation wrong and I don't challenge something, I always try to reflect on where it went wrong so I can kind of learn or at least take something from my mistake so it wasn't just a mistake because in, like Bob Ross says, nothing's a mistake, it's just a happy little accident, you know, <laughs> and that's that's the way I'm, I'm choosing to take my life, to choo choosing to take the steps that I'm doing is I'm choosing to say there is no there is no mistakes it is just a happy little accident and we look at the situation learn from it and try and do better next time and that's what I'm trying to do however challenging is very difficult because it, it's like an addiction do you know if you're like addicted to smoking or whatever your vice is um you get that craving to for that feeling that 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 comfort, that knowledge of knowing that that's how you'll always feel when you, you know, smoke a cigarette or when you, you know, go under two poles instead of going round them. Do you know what I mean? It, whatever your 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 superstition or your your vices or what you think you need to do every single day, those those things like that come naturally to you that you just think of and think right, okay, there's two poles in the street, if I walk under it, it's bad luck, I'll walk around. Challenging that behaviour, even though it's something simple, like just walking under poles, at first you'll be like, oh, I've got something bad, and then anything that happens that day, you will correlate to walking under those poles. And that feeling, that that feeling of justified, like, oh, I knew that was going to happen, so I'll just avoid it, or I knew I was going to get into a rage and I can't help it, that way of thinking takes a lot of time to restructure and re-divert to where it feels more natural to do these things. So you are going to make mistakes. You are going to just go down the wrong path sometimes, but take what you can from it, learn from it, and, and then you know continue to grow and continue to make that progress. It's at this point, I think personally, that it's when a lot of people give up. Um, on therapy and think it's not working it's not going to ever get better right because it is hard it is a full-time constant it, it's like when you're doing exams for instance and you just feel mentally drained after studying and studying and studying it's like that feeling you are drained by doing it and it takes a lot of determination a lot of like willpower to keep pushing on and keep going even though you feel like you're not making as big a leaps but I always say like as someone that's gone through a very very bad illness where I was in a wheelchair and I had to learn like to 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 to, to walk properly again and and go through walking with a cane I will say I'm a massive advocate a massive advocate for just praising yourself if you got up and you did your dishes today gold star Put a gold star on your fridge. I don't care if it's childish. I don't care if people think that I'm, you know, ridiculous because I'm a grown adult and I shouldn't be rewarding myself in stickers and stars. I'm an adult. That's that's the key point here. I'm an adult and if that works for me and if that system works and makes it easier for you to retain that information until it becomes a habit, then do it. Then do it. Because it's your your journey no one's going to tell you if you're right or wrong and the ways you're processing and you're you're going about your journey it, it is a journey like we're not rushing to get to the end we're not gonna 
aim to get to the end we're just aiming to make every day a little bit better and if that means you need to wake up one morning and think i got out of bed and i put my socks on well done well done that is an achievement in itself because i remember a day when i couldn't get out of bed and i could put socks on so treat that as a as the little godsend that it is like the little bit of like no matter what you're doing you're doing something you've eaten that day brilliant gold star you've had something to eat you've drank water that day and not just coffee and tea brilliant gold star reward yourself for the little things that you're doing because the little things add up it's the little things of taking care of yourself putting yourself first which sounds it, it's it's a odd concept to me because i'm always the the one that that takes care of everyone but try to put yourself first and you're not going to always get it right like lately i when i've been trying to put boundaries in place and and try to be more assertive it's just coming off as rude really because i don't know how to do it i don't know how to do it and i'm not going to lie i don't know how to set boundaries i don't know how to tell someone without being aggressive that i don't like something so that is a learning curve that i am on myself and i am just thankful and so grateful that the people in my life understand that when I say I can't do this it's not because I don't like them it's not because I don't want to spend time with them it's not because I don't want to you know do you know all these things it's because I'm trying to be like right I don't have the spoons and normally I would do this for you because I know you need this however like I need this time for me I need to sleep I need to do this I need to do that like I'm trying to put myself in that position but it's not easy it's really not and as I said I'm not an expert in this like I have no idea what I'm doing I'm just going through it and as I said I'm not great at putting boundaries in place most of the time when I say I don't like something it comes across as I don't like it get away rah. like and it comes across as I'm being very aggressive because that's the only way I've ever put my boundaries across is in an aggressive way so I'm trying to learn that I need to be like excuse me I would like this or excuse me this is upsetting me before going into that they should they, they've, they've ticked me off to a, a level five and I'm going to explode in their face because of whatever situation it's a learning curve it's difficult you've got this remember to reward every moment of your life remove reward the little things that you're doing if you're proud of it and you think I couldn't have done this yesterday reward it Make sure you, you take note of it and you put it down on paper that you've done something good. And if that means like you've cleaned your floor, you've just walked to the end of the road and back, you have cooked a nice meal, I don't care, write it down. It is a good thing. You are taking self-care. Those little things add up and it is a hard journey. So don't forget that you need to be praised as well. You're doing a great job. And that's what I keep telling myself. Sorry for the massive run, and I always say that because I always go on a massive run. But you know, it's a, it's it it's become part of this channel now. The rants are here to stay, and I'm afraid I'm always going to be trying to be a positive, outlooking person. Whether that always works, I don't know. But thank you for joining me on this journey. Sorry again, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>